Greetings, YouTubers. I have a Toshiba Satellite Radius model laptop that had some coffee spilled in it. And so I just wanted to shoot something and get it posted for anybody that was interested in how you uh, disassemble uh, this laptop to begin um, examining its contents. So I'm going to flip this over here and show you what we've got here. So this is a Toshiba Satellite Radius P55WB5224. And um, so to get started, I'm gonna show you a couple of tools, a couple of guitar picks and a Phillips screwdriver. Now I've already removed the 12 screws that go into uh, the cover here for the laptop. Um, so I won't be showing you how to do that. One thing I will point out though that is important is these two screws on this side and these two screws on this side will be hidden by this rubber foot that goes right over there. And it's just held on with some adhesive, just you know, nice and gently, just, just kind of peel that apart there. So once you get uh, the screws out, uh, the next thing you're going to need to do is to separate uh, these two pieces here, uh, the, the cover and the chassis. And uh, how you're going to do that is with a guitar pick. And you can start um, in a nice safe place. Um, maybe you can start uh, you know, up in this corner where I chose. Was just down in here um, at this corner uh, where the black and the, and the silver meet. And you just want to get the guitar pick started and you know, just insert it in there a couple of millimeters and then start working it along and you'll feel uh, the plastic begin to separate. And um, you know, sometimes you'll, you get to a spot where you just wanna leave the pick to kinda leave a little bit of pressure because uh, it's sometimes getting around uh, to corners uh, can be a little challenging and then you just start with another one and then just, you know, just gently work your way along and you'll feel it uh, start to uh, separate. Okay, so we've got that piece of it done there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, just carefully remove the uh, the panel here, and um, be uh, be mindful though that um, over on this side here, where you've got um, uh, where the power goes into, you've got uh, volume control, and you've also got the power switch here, and there's a ribbon cable. There's a, a ribbon cable that goes in there. So just kind of want to lift and then back here you'll see you just kind of wiggle it gently, slide it out and trying to do this one hand while I do the video. And this is the ribbon cable that I was referring to. Uh, just be careful if you do disconnect these ribbon cables. Uh, these little black tabs here, they just pop up with just a little bit of finger pressure, that's all. Um, well, anyway, um, so I told you earlier that uh, there's some liquid that got uh, into this computer and uh, it will not uh, power on. So I need to begin to dig down into this and uh, assess what uh, is going on and troubleshoot. Uh, this is the battery. There are four screws that uh, hold the battery into place and this one electrical connector. Remove the four screws, pick up the battery, and then pop off this electrical connector here. Um, if you need to take out the hard drive, the hard drive is not held in by any screws. It is simply just uh, held in by the pressure created between the, uh, the, the plastic chassis here and this, um, this rubber vinyl uh, piece that goes around the outside of the hard drive. And then there's the SATA connector over there that's connected to the MOBO um, to this ribbon cable over here. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, memory. Again, I apologize for the... Uh, low quality video here um you know, get george lucas on this uh the processor and then um you know we've got cooling over here um in this video i'm not going to uh, uh dig into this right now but just wanted to show you in the event that you have this same model laptop that um that is how you would uh, remove the cover and uh, one interesting thing as well to point out on these covers is uh and a magnet they put uh, toshiba put uh magnets over here on these uh on these two corners which is kind of interesting so when you put this cover back on it kind of uh 
kind of snaps closed and then you've got um, you know pressure there so anyway uh, i hope that you found this video helpful and uh, good luck to you uh, with your future computer fixes